When I initially set about building the Tamiya P38J for a review, I had expected a completely different experience. I thought since the F and G kit was going so well, I could just knock the J kit out without any problem, and it would make for a nice combined review. In short order, I found myself having difficulties. Things just weren't going together very well. As my dissatisfaction grew, I started wondering if it was just me being in a hurry. I took a pause to take stock of where I was with the model. I decided to forget about what I had done so far. It wasn't that important. I just chalk it up to a learning experience. There wasn't anything that couldn't be done again, and hopefully better. So I ordered a couple more kits. While I was waiting for the kits, I looked around. My hobby room had open boxes spread out all over. A couple of remnants of other projects. A pile of unrelated reference material. Assorted unnecessary bits of sandpaper, tools, and paint bottles crowding my work area. For whatever reason, I'd gotten out of the habit of straightening everything out before turning the lights out for the night. It was clearly the time to put my physical space in order. It's surprising how sitting in a neat work area for a few days changes your perspective. When the new kits arrived and I started building, I made a point of not allowing any stress from an arbitrary schedule to creep in. I found that all the same problems existed, but I decided that this time around I would allow myself more leeway to deviate from the stock assembly. As I worked past the point at which I had given up with my previous attempt, I still hit new snags, enough to make me want to try it again. But I realized that if I did it again, it still wouldn't be right. Even if it went together perfectly, it still wouldn't be right. And I came to understand why it wouldn't be right, and it wasn't the fault of the kit. The why is the subject of the next three segments but the key process that allowed me to discover the answer was the activity of cleaning up. Not only my physical space, but a real pause to genuinely clean out my mental space. Taking real time, absent of any arbitrary constructs, to clean out all the open kit boxes, remnants of other projects, unrelated reference material, assorted unnecessary bits of sandpaper, tools, and paint bottles, they were crowding my work area in my head. How much of what I had done, or what I had come to accept as just the way things should be done, had taken me to a point of diminishing satisfaction with the model. Butting heads with this kit forced me to clean house, and I mean really clean house, to the point that I can articulate what went right and what went wrong in my long journey with this hobby. After this experience, I highly recommend that when you find yourself losing your general motivation, when things just don't seem to be working out, take a real step back. There's a reason for it, and just picking up something new or simpler isn't going to solve it. Something a little more basic is probably gone awry. Take a real pause to do some honest reflection. Clean up both your spaces. Don't be afraid to throw stuff out and use the clean space to build a new one. Maybe it'll be far different from what you had, but a new space that affords you the pleasure of what this hobby is really all about.